Hello world, this is Random Fix. I was about to go for a short little drive and I noticed that my TPMS light on my vehicle was on. This is the light right here that actually indicates that the car is low on tire pressure. So I went and checked all the tires and I uh, noticed this one was actually uh, looking a little low. And the tire pressure on the front is supposed to be at 35 and the rear is supposed to be at uh, 33 on this car and uh, we have basically almost uh, 10 pounds of pressure on here so we're really low and what I'm going to do is try out this uh, can of fix a flat I've used these plenty of times in the past I keep this in my own car and I keep a, a, a can of this in my wife's car in case something happens Sometimes the the spare tire is just not accessible at the time or you're on the side of the road and you got to get off it. So I'm going to go ahead and try this out. One thing when you are buying any kind of fix a flat, you always want to make sure it says TPMS safe right here. And this is really important because these tires have little sensors in there. And then uh, what it does is relays information back to the computer letting it know that if it's got the correct amount of tire pressure in there. And then get the larger one not a can that's made for an SUV tire versus the smaller ones that are made for cars. I've just had much better success rates and there's a lot more air in here. Um, so this is supposed to go ahead and uh, seals the, the actual problem and inflates it as well. So we're going to try this out. And the most important thing is when you're doing this, before you go attempt to put this in, if you have uh, the chance to do it, you want to see if there's any nails in the tire and you want to have this valve at, a, at the 6 o'clock position so we want to have it down here so I'm going to slowly back up this vehicle step 2 now you want to go ahead and shake this for about 30 seconds Alright, so I think that's 30 seconds now. It's all shooken up. Before I put this in, a couple of things that I want to point out to you is you want to make sure you have a way of being able to drive the vehicle for at least 5 to 10 minutes. And that way the sealant's going to go and coat the inside of the tire and get to wherever is whatever's leaking. You do not want to let this just sit in there. It will harden up. Your tires will become in balance. So the most important thing is to go driving right afterwards. If you do notice that your seal is leaking here, your valve, this will not fix your valve. So uh, one of the things if you're on the side of the road, what I like to do is just test, see if there's any air coming out of here. If this is the defective problem, this will not give you any kind of cure. And I'm gonna provide updates in the description below. and. Uh, to see if it damaged my sensor and also if it fixed my problem. What I like to do is keep it shaking when I'm putting it in. And towards the, the last bit of it, I'm going to turn it upside down. All right, let's go for that drive. So immediately I'm driving the vehicle. I'm going to take this for a nice uh, five to ten minute drive to make sure that the sealant really goes ahead and uh, spreads around. My TPMS light is still on the vehicle, and I'm going to keep you guys updated. So you periodically want to go uh, and inspect the, the tire as you're driving. Uh, this is five minutes later and uh, the rim is not riding on the tire which is great and I'm going to continue driving. I'm going to come and do another inspection. The tire so far looks good again. This is about 10 minutes into it. I just got back home. I'm sure I'm a little low on air so I'm going to put some air in the tires. So it got my tire pressure from under 10 to over 20. Take another reading. 
So yeah, over 20. All right, so I'm gonna get the tire pressure to where it needs to be. There we go, we're at 33 pounds. Let's go see what happened with the TPMS light, if it's still uh, on. Alrighty. Alright, so the TPMS light is still on the vehicle. And it just turned off, so that's pretty cool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to provide updates in the description below within two weeks to let you guys know how it worked and if the light stays off and if I uh, was able to actually fix the problem. Alright, so it's been two weeks. My TVMS uh, light is uh, off. The, the fix the flat did not work, but it did not damage my uh, TVMS sensor, which is really good. Let me know what you guys think. Please leave your comments below and have a great day. Let me know if you guys have any comments. Hit the subscribe button and I really appreciate your continued support.